In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. As you get close to the birthday of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our Lord is looking at you with great love. Contemplate this beautiful image of the most sacred heart of Jesus. See his, he's surrounded by light. He wants to give you light. His eyes are looking into your eyes with great love, compassion, and concern. Contemplate the face of Christ, the eyes of Christ. He's looking at your eyes penetrating to your very, to the very depths of your soul. Then he's pointing to his heart. <clears throat> Above his heart, you can see the cross. The birth of Jesus is also related to his passion and death and resurrection. He came to die so as to give you life. He said, I've come that you might have life in life most abundantly. Below his heart, you can see fire the fire that is below the cross, the fire that is surrounding his heart. That fire is the fire of love. It is the fire of the Holy Spirit. His heart is surrounded by thorns. Not only surrounded, but the thorns are embedded in his heart. And you can see that from his heart, drub, you can see blood drops that are dripping from his heart. If you look closely, you can actually see that there's a hole, hole in his heart. That's where the soldier, after he died, he, he thrust the lance which pierced his most sacred heart, from which blood and water came gushing forth, the church and the sacraments of the church. So as we get ready for Christmas, which is only... Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Let us focus upon the reason for Christmas. The reason for Christmas is, is the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's the reason. Why did he come? His name tells it all. Jesus, which means Savior. He came to save us. So may this be a very holy, happy, peaceful, joyful Christmas for you and for your loved ones. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust you. Sweetheart of Mary, be my salvation. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.